hey bro I switched to iPhone and I want to learn how to edit videos with iMovie can you make a video about that because the videos on YouTube they contain a whole lot of music and I cannot understand anything that these guys are saying of course bro I will thank you bro this was one of the comments that I got not so long ago on one of my previous videos I promised it and I just uh, made a review about uh, uh, the Moto the Moto G family that I have here at the house showed some new ROMs and I was like let me then immediately show you how to use you know uh, iMovie it's uh, two flies with with one hit toch I mean yeah then I don't have to go and uh, I'm not I'm now gonna edit that video so let me show you how I do that so let me put you on the tripod welcome again to channel 48 ladies and gentlemen in this video you're gonna learn how to use the iMovie application the application that I will show will be uh, for the latest iMovie that you will get if you installed iOS 15 or maybe even 14 dot I don't know what can't remember uh, but I saw that at a certain moment the iMovie was updated again and it's kind of different now than the one that we had before with this one you can as well make clips shorts for your YouTube or maybe your TikTok you can as well make with iMovie so I'm gonna show you it in this video the new version you will learn how to think uh, in iMovie if you want to uh, do something I'm getting two messages here. I'm gonna read them real fast and then we're gonna make the video one of my friends cannot get into a recovery mode with with the T113 okay peeps so I was talking about iMovie iMovie is uh, you can say the application from Apple um, and uh, it's to edit videos we have iMovie for a very long time iMovie I have it since uh, the iPhone 4s I first want to show you the old iMovie that you will find on the iPhone 6 uh, this looks like this um, it will be like this when you open it for the first time you will have, have to hit the plus up here you can create trailers this is not available anymore in the in the new uh, version of iMovie um, trailers that will show themselves if you're gonna use this one um, you can set up a storyboard and add uh, yeah, videos from wherever you have them on your on your on your on your folder here you can select this one here, a part, there a part, there a part. And then if you're done, you're going to have all these filled up with little pieces of video. And the text you will change into something else, uh, your studio or whatsoever. Apple will make it really nice for you. This is really Hollywood. Eh? This is Hollywood style. And you don't get no bloody copyright complaints from, from nobody. Whoever does is, is a thief. Okay, this is from the Apple community. So Apple takes really good care of their yeah of their users because yeah they give quality applications as well going along with the device and iMovie is one of them. iMovie is a golden application. It's priceless. It's priceless, really. It's amazing. It's amazing what you can do with this movie maker. These are old, old films, black and white films. Colorized with Google AI. You see that? Nice, huh? So, um, cancel. So let's go to the new version because most of you won't have this anymore. This is really old school. Um, yeah, if you have the iPhone 6, it's hard to even get uh, uh, iMovie now these days because you did not have it before. So I just wanted to show uh, 
ja, de classic iMovie. En ja, het will show itself. Alright? After what I'm gonna show you on, uh, on the plus, uh, you will uh, use your common sense uh, to as well be able to work with the older version. But it's about this version. Uh, we're gonna use the very newest that will as well let you create a magic movie more about that in another video storyboard more about that in another movie uh because this video is gonna get way too long already because we're gonna edit a complete video will take about 30 35 minutes to see a complete video done and uh, it's done it's uh, been rendered uh, the video that we uh, that we that we made so um yeah It's done so you're gonna see it as soon as i uploaded it so this is um the effect the iMovie that is now out there uh, for most of you with the newer devices uh, being on ios 15 you're gonna have this iMovie uh, iphone 6s users don't hesitate please download it put it to your account so you have it uh, so yeah one day uh, when we're at uh, iPhone 18 or so, you can still get the old version for, you know, because this version will definitely get old after we go to iOS 16, that suddenly it won't be available for the 6S anymore if you did not download it, uh, iMovie before. Apple has a, a, a sort of history of the applications that you once downloaded or maybe even paid for, um, and they will, Yeah, not all applications, as I found out, uh, applications that they kick out of the store will not be available anymore, even though you purchase them once. You know, if they're still on your machine, they will stay on your machine, but the day you're gonna clean it up, you know, you won't ever be able to get that application ever again. So these are the things from Apple that you must keep in mind. It's an ecosystem, as I said, that grows really fast and they change things, you know, really 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 fast every year things are changing and then previous devices that are not supported anymore qua os suddenly cannot get the application anymore so yeah these things you must keep uh, an eye on and that's why many people are talking sometimes bad about apple because of these things you know um, but yeah you must just be on time and you must understand the ecosystem uh, from apple to you know, you know not to be on the losing side so let's go do some real video editing now let's talk let's first talk about the history of 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 iMovie the history of iMovie is one that goes back since the iPhone 3GS since the iPhone 3GS uh, Apple had for their users yeah uh, a video editor available so they could edit the videos that they would make with the iPhone 3GS. This was something very, very special at that time. Already, mobile video editing. Only the richest of the richest could do that because poor bastards like us did not have iPhones at that time. So, at a certain moment after my 3GS, I could get a deal for a whole lot of money, $39.95 per month, I cannot remember, and I got my iPhone 4S. So, after one year or so, um, I went to the media market to make a review about laptops with my 4S. Long time ago, I used to make reviews at media market, and then I saw that the iPhone 5S arrived. And the 5S was being presented as if it was the most amazing phone in the world. So I went to the Apple department there at uh, MediaMark, and you know it when you have a phone, you know, and they're bringing coming with a new build of the phone. People are most of the times like, uh, well, uh, show me what's better. Eh? I'm one of them as well, because I was proud on my iPhone 4S. I was proud on it and I was like, what is so good about the 5S? And then the guy, a very friendly guy, can't remember his name anymore. He's in one of my videos here on YouTube. He said, come, let me show you. And then he opened iMovie. 
it was not this iMovie that he opened, no, it was an older version of iMovie that he showed me. And he showed me that we could, uh, this is me by the way when I was small, but then colorized. <laughs> I'm color I have a very nice app I'm going to show you very soon. I think it's also as well out there for Android users. But this is this is very good color colorized. Amazing. This is this is me. <laughs> Here I was four years old. Okay. So um, he then showed me, of course, some some Apple video that looked really amazing. Eh? And he would show me what the thing could do. And uh, let's imagine that it's this video. He would show me what the thing could do, you know, like bam, 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 and all these effects, etc. And I was like, wow, wow. But can I as well do that with my 4S? He said yes. Then you must go to the to the to the store and get the Apple card for 15 euros. You don't want to believe it but that was the first day in my life that i ever paid for an application i never ever paid for any application at that time at that time i was like pay for application there's always an alternative that is free you know but there was no alternative for imovie for 3.99 so i went to buy the apple card i bought the apple card so if you have an iphone listen good let's let's go back to the studio let me let me talk with you guys might wonder why are you making such just show us how to use the bloody application perk no no because look before I spoke to the guy from the media market I was doing it there in the corner there and I would sit there and I would edit and my shoulders would hurt me and then when the bloody video was done it had to render the video and because i was using high quality even in my iphone 4s you know the computer that i had at the time would take hours and hours to render that bloody video so it, i was like no no i want i don't want that anymore i'm tired of that and i know that many of you are as well tired of looking at your bloody uh, laptop that is big and huge and can run Windows 10, 11, 12, but when you want to render a video, it takes like years. Maybe not on this i7. Even on your i7 fifth generation, it's slow. My iPhone is way faster than all my computers here if it comes up to rendering videos. So, why are why am I even bringing you back to the studio to even talk to you before I'm going to show you this application? Because what many of you don't know is that every iPhone 4 and up can be an amazing mobile video editor and that goes for the iPads as well. However, the chances that you will find and get these applications to run if you're going to get the old Apple device these days is small because Apple is you know it's moving really fast it's an ecosystem that moves really fast if you get an iPhone 6 now that normally officially came with iMovie standard pre-installed that same iMovie won't be available anymore and if you never had iMovie before, you can forget of having iMovie on your iPhone 6. That while the iPhone 6 is an amazing video editor, especially the Plus. You all know I got this, this Plus uh, very cheap and uh, it's working really, really good. And the video editor is priceless i mean like it's just priceless to to sit uh on the balcony and edit a complete video because you don't want to sit in the house and when you're done you just uh, set it to render and 15 minutes later your video is rendered and then you upload it to your youtube so every content creator listen to me what i'm saying 
every content creator should have an iPhone beside its Android phone. What are you saying? Okay, I'm gonna say it a little bit louder. Every YouTuber should have an iPhone beside the Android phone. If you're an Android user, I don't want to take you away from Android. I'm an iPhone user, but I'm as well an Android user. I have more Android phones than iPhones. But I have at least enough iPhones for the coming years to make my videos. I'm telling you this all because I know that many of you paisana here. Hmm? You know, you're low on this and everything is getting more and more expensive. If you need a good computer to, to edit videos, you must as well buy a video editor. Okay, maybe you can download one free, but you know how it is. It's not gonna be an easy task. You have you may have a nice laptop in front of you, but uh, editing uh, MP4 is like a hell. And then we're not even talking about rendering the video that takes years. No, this is not what we want. So that's why mobile video editing by Apple. Now my Android users, easy. The reason why I say that you must have an iPhone beside your Android phone is not to say that Android cannot do these tasks. They can, but you need Paisa. If you want to use an application that is as good as, uh, for instance, iMovie, and Paisana here, then you're gonna get advertisement here. You're gonna have a nice little advertisement saying Kind Master is the boss of this video. Or maybe you must with iMovie then make the screen a little bigger to get it. <laughs> so a combination of Kind Master free version, <laughs> sorry Kind Master, uh, an iMovie is, is a great combination because by upscaling just a little bit and <laughs> the logo is gone. <laughs> that is not nice to say, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is. I think that Android should have a good video editor long time ago. And I'm not talking about things like Power Director and these kinds of, no, a simple thing like iMovie that everybody understands that does not come with copyright protected things in it, you know. Apple is as well doing it, but I'm not gonna talk about Apple for now. You understand? So I want you, if you can, find or buy an iPhone 6S Plus on second hand market. They are not so expensive anymore because no in fact yeah that phone is as well a dying species to say it this way you know uh, after 15 it won't get 16. so but it's about you're gonna use it as a video editor and when after you finish the video you just send the video to your android phone and you upload it to your youtube but you will have your video editor and if you get some great lenses just like this one here that I have then you can make beautiful videos as well with the iPhone 6 or even iPhone 5 5s the only thing that you must make sure of is that you have enough space this thing has 128 gigabytes or 256 let me see it has a whole lot a whole lot let me see how much general about 128 gigabytes I mean like hey if somebody sells a device like this for 40 euros you should you should not be uh, too greedy to give them 50 or 45 it's worth it because now I'm gonna show you what you can do with this device iPhone 6s plus that effect nobody wants anymore let me show you what a great device this is 
and why you should get one and why you should let the person that sell you the device help you to install iMovie onto it because you yourself won't be able to get it on an iPhone 6 or 5 or 4S anymore but all these devices they have their own iMovie and if you can get somebody that can get you the old version that can down uh, log in, in into your phone and get the old version for you and then log out again from the app store you know then you're gonna have an amazing video editor for life for as long as this thing work for as long as you can change a battery at the media mark for the device you know as long as you can you know use the device you treat it nicely it's still you know it works you're gonna be making videos for years and as well edit them for the coming years with this device if you don't believe me look at my list all my videos that i create since my 4s and that is way back since the time that the 5s came out yeah since then i started with imovie these are a whole lot of generations back since then i'm using imovie so what i'm gonna teach you today peeps you know in fact i i don't want to teach everybody about these kinds of things because soon you're gonna see that all these prices of these old phones because i'm saying these things will so suddenly raise and people will start selling them with imovie imovie apple iphone for video creation so it's a big thing people are chupkere here about it and especially the big ones they will not let you know everybody's chupkere here you know so no we should not be chupkere here because too many people, poor people in the world, with amazing ideas, can 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 use a device like this to become maybe a millionaire on YouTube. Not everything is about 4K and about the most expensive cameras and so no. It's about the bloody information that you give in the video. It's about that. It's not about the quality. Not always, sometimes it is, yes, if you're gonna make a drone video if, if 480p, <laughs> it will not look so good, you know, but I mean, like, you must as well have common sense. So let me put you on the tripod once again, and let's continue with the video. I had to give you this information, peeps. Maybe that's why yeah, my videos are a little bit long to, to watch, but if you if you listen, you, you can get a whole lot of benefits out of it. Eh? All right, so the newest version of iMovie, is one that starts with let me remove this uh, that starts with uh, start new project here you can make a magic movie a storyboard or a movie I think that most of you want to make a movie so we're gonna select movie what kind of movie would you like to create? Well, I want to make the movie that uh, is talking about the Potter. So let me see, which one is that? Uh, recently added. Okay, these are the recently added. So let me see, what is this one? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this Monday morning here at channel 48. Okay, so this is video number one. So we select it, we give it a thing here. We make it blue there. We go to video number two. Okie doke, welcome back peeps. That so is video number two. And then this should be video number three. And what is this? Hey. <laughs> that one is not. So now the order is as well important. So I, I selected the first video the second video and the third video meaning that this will be the first this will be the second and this will be the third okay and then we hit create movie it's a video from 35 minutes and it starts like this i will put it in white screen for you okay so what is so amazing about this video editor it's very smooth it's on the milliseconds smooth you see that on the milliseconds so that guy in the video that is me 
morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this Monday morning here at Channel 48. Sun is shining, weather is sweet, makes you want to move your dancing feet. Well, peeps, yeah, man, I'm here sitting, chilling with a nice cup of coffee. And today it's about the Moto family here uh, at Channel 48. I have two of them. All right. So... Uh, in fact, I'm, I, I know what I said in this in this passage, so I'm all good with it. So, meaning, I added this this uh, this intro, and then we get to here by holding the phone in a portrait mode. You can go one step back. You see that 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 mode will not be available when you hold it in in a in a port in a landscape mode. You will only see that in a portrait mode okay this is a fade if you select it you're gonna see several fades here you can use this one or a star i most of the times use this one Welcome you back. know uh, so um here you can see uh the video about the phone etc blah 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 you see how fast you can go through it it's amazing it's amazing here we give oh let's go all the way to the end yeah and then we go one back here we can give it a nice effect again and here okay so this is one long video that goes about this phone it's talking about this phone all right so now in fact if you're good with this then then you're done but I'm not good with this. I, I want to add a little text and so, you know, so starring and uh, text to uh, name it, you know. So for that, you can use, for instance, uh, uh, an intro maker. In Apple World, you will find it because, yeah, if you create a Hollywood video, a Hollywood, uh, <laughs> how you say that, effects video, you as well want to have nice Hollywood intros. So here I have one for the end, the YouTube. You see that? And yeah, this you can make very easy. Here you have, for instance, an intro designer. You have several um, themes. I use this for many years. It's almost as if, yeah, I, I only use this yeah and well not only i have another application that i as well use um, but in another video more about that but this one i use for for very long time you know and uh, the people that use this app they don't use it so so much like me in all my videos i'm using one of these and i can color it and make it different for instance uh, this one is for big projects you know something something amazing will come with this one uh, but i have one, i have more this one is even <sighs> you see that these are all intros and these you can all use in your projects without getting stupid copyright complaints although <laughs> i'm gonna show you something and you can try it out yourself if you take this template and you make it this this song if you make this song one step slower you get a copyright complaint there is some there's some uh terrible uh i don't know if it is a turkish uh, company who they are i don't know but uh i got a claim on this free uh, so something that is free is not free anymore when you slow it down one 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 millisecond or i don't know what uh, if you make it a little bit slower so it plays a little bit slower you get a copyright complaint so you know in apple world we find that uh we had a lot of false people that were putting copyright complaints on stuff that we got from apple many times i had to make copyright complaints against garage band uh, productions that i made you know and then these guys they uh uh, yeah, they claim it 
they use it in some commercial work and then we get copyright complaints because they are licensing their 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 stuff that they stole uh with you know legit uh, uh music uh companies or how you call that and then yeah these guys they they they, they have content id at youtube and then you get a false claim so i never use this one anymore i must contact the guy of this application but i i just left it you know i didn't want to go into a fight you know me and youtube you know we're good and i don't want to mess it up so um you know i just i just removed it this is another one that we can use it's a very simple one yeah. you see and so we can, can we can say um android uh we just call it lineage os 18.1 my fingers are too big. 18.1 and P. No, 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 no. And E. P. N. Yeah, that's how we're gonna call it. P. N. The N stands for Nougat. And then here we go to the second. Uh, and we're gonna say uh, for uh, Moto Rula uh, 5G, or was it the G5? I think it's called G5 Plus, eh? G5 Plus, and Moto G G two thousand fourteen. Maybe I must put the Titan and this one was Potter like that. We make it a little bit bigger here. You see that? Potter and then next um by gothic fee one that is six or oh, must be one word gothic one my fingers are too big gothic fee like this and e foundation and then here install review by book channel 48 make that a bit bigger like this not too big and then we can say um, we can change the color here let's make it yellow oh that blue looks nice yeah this one never make a name of anything that is not from you never make it red okay because some people don't like that when you when you write their name in red especially korean people and chinese people they don't like when you write their name in red so remember that if you are a video editor not just because you like red you must go and use red okay you see we use some nice colors here and that looks nice and now we can say export 1280720p okay and now we go back to iMovie and now we can say we're gonna put the intro at the beginning of the of the video of we put it after a whole lot of talking to just bring some extra breeze into the video 
like this. Okay, so now um, at the beginning here, you might want to put a name, move it a bit, and make a cut. How do you make a cut? By hitting split. You see that? Or you can as well do like this. Make a gesture like this. Uh, I'm gonna here put my name. channel 48 we can pinch it by first stepping the screen we can pinch it yeah we can we can make it uh, uppercase uh, we can give it a sound effect we can let it uh, show the full clip duration okay but we can as well change the color we can make it blue yellow green whatever you wish you see that I'm just gonna make it white. Alright. And then here we can say give some credits to the developer. Uh, special thanks to Gothic. and e dot foundation you see that like that make it a little bit bigger so it's nice and readable and here we set it again to show the full clip and make a little noise a bit little sound morning ladies and gentlemen welcome on this monday morning here at channel 48 sun is shining weather is sweet makes you want to move your dancing feet well and then here we as well give a little thanks to lineage us thanks to lineage Hands and feet. Well, peeps, yeah, man. All right. So now, um, I did certain things, and you, you, you can follow it by just swiping like this. Oh, that is not possible anymore. I, you cannot cut like this anymore. Okay, that was taken. I never made a cut like this. I always use the scissor. So let's look at the at the at the functions here. Here you can see um, these are the several uh, texts that you can use, and they all have their own sounds. For instance, this one will make you read. Listen. Better is sweet makes you want to move. Oh, here. Then I must put it on the sound effect. Listen. Weather is sweet, makes you want to move your dancing feet. <laughs> you see that? I like that sound. Mm. It's very old. This one is is, is a very old sound. Uh, I'm gonna give Lineage OS a special green here. I like that green. Maybe I should give this one as well that green. Oh no no no! These are other effects. Um, text. Yeah. Color green. Yeah, man, I love that green. And my name as well in green. Don't write people their name. I'm telling you once again, don't ever write them in red. It's not good. Okay, the people, you can get cursed for that by the people. <coughs> don't do that, all right? Never write names in red. And as well, not names from ROMs and things like that. Don't write them in red. If, if the people themselves they do it in red that is okay but don't do it for somebody else okay you must keep the blessing always for whatever you create 
and make sure that no no bad influence can can hurt it you understand making a video is something very special because you're making a video and yeah you're making it for other people to watch you see now if you want to put some uh some copyright i can understand some of you are scared that they're gonna steal your video uh, just uh, don't be scared uh, youtube has uh, a special tool uh, in your um, in your thingy and uh, you will be able to see if somebody steals your video but you can of course as well put in uh, a little logo there and um, yeah of course you must have a charger with you let me see if this one is charging where is this cable going to? Oh, this one is not charging. Where is glad? Now it should. Should charge now? Not charging. Oh, because the thing is off, no man. So, yeah, baby. Alright. So now, um, you can put a text, you know, and, and copyright and so. Me, myself, I don't like it. Uh, and in fact, I don't really do it because I don't want to, you know, have something all the time in the in the screen. It's hard to put it there on top. If you want to put it there on top, then you must choose for another uh, another uh, letter type. How you say letter type? And then you can put it in the corner there. You see, you can make it smaller. You can make it really small if you want, like this, you see? And then you put it there in the corner, somewhere there, you see? You can as well give it another color if you want. You can make it yellow or red. Yellow is a good color most of the time. You see that? Nice and small in the corner there. You can see it? There, you can hardly read it. TV 48 but on a big screen it will be readable and it will not annoy the user too much uh, but after a couple of seconds it will be gone so what you must do is go here hit the three little dots and set it full screen a uh, full clip duration okay that means it's gonna be there up to the end Rastafari but that as well means that if you're gonna make a cut to put other text in the screen that will go away you cannot have it there and here. You could, but then you must do a complete uh, 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 rendering of the video first again, and then come again, and then put it on top of that. But why would you? You know. So yeah, this one I don't want it here. By the way, I want it a bit more there in the corner, uh, somewhere there. Yeah. You see. And this is how it works. And then um, we go to the end. So this is the outro. And here at the end, we select our YouTube outro. Boom. So it will be like. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye <laughs> bye. bye. And then the video ends. But yeah you want some music into the video okay let's go back to the beginning to get video uh, music on your uh, on your on your iphone uh, install 3u tools uh, connect the cable find your phone and just add music to your phone if you did that then you should as well have it in here if you're gonna go back 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 and you go here and you select audio you can go to my music and then to songs and here you should find a bunch of yeah of your music you see i have a whole lot of anansi stories in here but uh, if you kijk what do i have here
Yes, let's use this one. This one's kind of fusion. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this Monday morning. Yeah, channel 48. Sun is shining. Weather is sweet. Makes you want to move your dancing feet. Well. Okay, so. Up here. Whoa, whoa! So up here we can put the music softer. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this Monday morning. Yeah, channel 48. Sun is shining. Weather is sweet. Makes you want to move your dancing feet. Well, peeps, yeah, man, I'm here sitting chilling with a nice cup of coffee. And today it's about the Moto family here, uh, Channel 48. I have two of them. You hear the music playing on the background? So we're gonna go all the way to the back here. And of course, we don't want the music to play over this music. So we can do two things. We can say, or we want our fusion music to continue. And then we must make it a little bit louder here. You see the little speaker will let you make it, uh, set it louder. But then you select this one and here you see it's set to speaker, meaning this is the volume of the track, of the track, eh? the track of the, of the intro. So now, but it, it was from that, that this is, doesn't sound nice it's from soft to loud so what we're gonna do is fade and we're gonna fade this one in and we're gonna fade this one out so you will get a sort of kind of mix and this one we're gonna set to as well a fade and we make this fade and make this line be exactly in the middle like this so you're gonna get this That was more gently it came, it doesn't hurt your ears, you know? And and here we do the same thing. We we fade it out like this and this one we set the volume back to 25% or even lower depending on how good the voice is hearable. Okay and there we go. Okay no. welcome back peeps. So uh, what you're looking at is the butter and uh, here you're gonna see that we only have a volume up and down. Now you can put as much songs as you wish, uh, but you will find out that it will as well make the song uh, the <laughs> as long as, as the complete. So yeah, you must find the end of the song. So you must really listen uh, to to yeah to whatever song you're using and then here you're gonna see where the song ends you're gonna see a little here you see that here you can see a little cut you see that cut that means the song is ending there Sting and, for being and so here nice to us. it's starting yeah. again but because the music is so soft and because it's not really uh uh manipulative to say this way for your ears uh you you hardly listen hear the music it's only some thing thing things you hear uh like uh, uh gothic of course gothic six so the so effect the user cannot tell if the song is repeating all the time again because he's listening to the voice and the and the music is playing too soft to be Thanks recognizable to gothic six or maybe young man i don't know what it is you see that so um here we go to the outro and in the outro you always gonna put the music a little bit louder just a little bit five percent wow, still nice these two old phones updated today on the 20th of june 2022 that while the june 2022 and then you cut it there and now you can zoom in a little bit at the 2022 that while this phone is for, from 2014 and i cannot remember when this one was made two older phones from moto g uh, motorola big up to you as well for the durability of these phones this <laughs> durability <laughs> yeah you must say something huh? okay and then here at the end we can say now that was uh, nice uh, we can as well turn off the music of this one and here we're gonna fade out and fade in again so we get this bye bye
and you fade it out here like this you see but make sure that this volume was set louder than than the one under the video so it's gonna be Cheers, like my goodest friend bye bye And we edit a complete video. Now we say done. And now we say render and say video. Storage almost full. Oh, <laughs> my storage is just a little bit full. All of these, uh, let me see, albums. <laughs> oh, what am I starting up? Get out. Here, this one we need. It's a 35 minutes video save video and now it will be saved okay so it could be that it will say um could not uh, save the video uh, because of uh, no space or it cannot export the video uh, to the picture folder at the end because no space then you must go ahead and delete uh, some uh, some pictures or videos whatever and then export again and then it will finish the last part really fast okay so i'm not completely happy about this video i still must do some editing some cutting out of it but this is uh, how, how to edit a video um a video in in imovie in the new imovie and you can see i have a whole lot of uh, videos that i already created you see that and um, yeah the other options uh, you can go try out yourself um, if you want to create a magic movie you can make a magic movie from an existing movie and then yeah it will take parts of the video and make a sort of AI, AI, AI clip from it you know um, you can as well create a storyboard and here in the storyboard uh, you have all sorts of uh, themes that I did not look into yet okay so I don't know about this yet let me see what it is so I don't know if this music that they uh, that they that they give to us if it's uh, if it's copyright license or so I see Apple doing these kinds of things these days as well so I would not use any music from here just just go to the to the to the music library from YouTube find some nice music import it to your phone so you have your own music okay because yeah if you if you must use this to then get a copyright complaint for the bloody music then it makes no sense to use it at least that's the way I see it so that's why make sure to always have your own music on your device and then you'll be editing videos like crazy really and uh yeah if you edit a video with uh with imovie you can as well go to kindmaster and do some other things in kindmaster that you cannot do in imovie so if you want to uh know about uh, kindmaster how to use it etc uh, then I will as well make a video about that and then I will show you some nice little tricks that you can do in uh, yeah, in Kindmaster. Uh, I did not talk about blue screen etc and these kinds of things. I just wanted to give you a little video editing uh, yeah, tutorial of how to use it uh, on, on, on your iPhone or maybe even your iPad. Um, yeah and in fact for the older version it will it will show itself but you as well have a yeah a sort of uh, uh, part where you can make um, yeah uh, clips um, and Apple will give you some amazing uh, uh, music that goes along with it and a very lovely way how to how to set up the storyboard etc but more of that uh, in another video if I see that this video is being appreciated uh, enough then I will you know as well make a video for Kindmaster and as well of course for the old versions of iMovie this was a very long video about yeah effect the iPhone and its amazing application iMovie and yeah that you as well should you know have a device like this 
at your side if you're some youtuber just because it works so really easy and it's so amazingly stable and fantastic but uh, the less uh, fantastic sides of uh, of this is that you need uh, a device with enough gigabytes of memory so yeah go for a minimal of 64 32 will help better than 16 okay 16 you should not you should not buy a iMovie device with 16 gigabytes at least 64 128 or maybe even better 256 i hope that this video helped out if it did uh, leave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the information um, and then you'll be seeing me in the next video again stay well and bye bye